So this story about uh, Microsoft warning people not to use Google, brought to us by James, is going to be covered by Peter in today's Not So Critical Update. So yeah, thanks, James, for sending this in. This is a really interesting topic for a number of reasons. Also, by the way, since we're doing shout outs, I want to say hi to my niece, Fern. So hi, Fern. Anyway, uh, this is a story about Microsoft putting up warnings for Google Chrome users uh, to tell them to try out Edge, which is their new browser. Um, it's <laughs> kind of cheeky. What do you think? It's. Uh... I mean, it's not surprising, I guess. It does. It's weird the way they do it. I don't know if I can bring up a screenshot yeah. from the tweet. Uh, let me spend some time trying to do this live here. Uh huh. Um, uh huh. That's time to do it. Yeah. Like yep. <laughs> we don't. So in, what's that? Sorry. In the browser, you go to the site to download it, and they bring up a warning in the top right that says you should use Edge instead. Like that seems in. Like, what's the word? It's not intrusive. The word's not intrusive. It's not creepy. Cheeky? It's like uh, overstepping, maybe. <laughs> right? This is the like thing. It's a this tracking thing. issue. Edge is watching what I'm doing. And if it sees I'm trying to use Google, it's going to get in my way to stop yeah. me from doing that. Yeah. Well, if you so remember. What else is it, what else is well, it checking? If you remember, when you went to Windows settings to change your default browser to Chrome or anything that's not Edge, it says, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Because sure? Edge is really good. You, you really want to change it? And then you're like, yeah. Okay. And it's like, I'm going to freeze. And then it freezes. And it's like, wait, what happened? <laughs> Which actually, <laughs> like, this was a big thing a few years ago where Windows 10 would not let you change the default browser. Supposedly, it was a bug. Supposedly. Anyway, the funniest thing about this to me right. is that they say, it runs on the same technology that Chrome does. Like Microsoft, you guys, you're using Chromium. Yeah. yeah, sure, they run on the same thing, but like let's not let's not let's not get our heads spun here. You're using Google's fucking tech, okay? <laughs> Don't go saying, "Hey, let's use Edge instead so we can ah. siphon telemetry from you or use telemetry to 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 suck data from you instead of Google." It's like, I don't know. It does feel oversteppy. It feels dirty, and yeah. I'm not a fan at all. Um, yeah, it's actually horrible. But yeah. it, it, the first thing I think is like, what else are they monitoring? What else are they looking at? Because they must right. be checking every process name that starts up. Yeah. And then there's a check in there going, if the process is Chrome, then show this warning. Can I say, the thing that I find most fascinating about this whole story is the fact that every single other browser does it. Well, all the big ones do. Almost. Firefox does it. Mm, uh, yes. Apple does it. Have you ever tried to start um, anything non-Safari on a, on a Mac OS? It says, right. hey, are you sure you don't want to be using Safari? Yeah. And I actually looked into this. When I first saw it on Apple, I was like, and, and apologies to Fern who may be watching this, fuck you, Apple. And I, I, I looked into how it works. And there is literally a, a bit of code that, that checks every process that kicks off. And it says it does a string match against uh, browsers. And if it's Firefox, then it goes, hey, don't you want to try Safari? It's really good. Wow. And it, so, yeah. <clears throat> I did just open um, Edge on my computer as we're talking here. And in the start search, it says it's labeled as Microsoft recommended browser. I downloaded Chrome and it didn't give me a warning, but I already have Chrome installed and I'm already using Brave as my default browser. No, but you're not running Windows 11, I assume. Oh, no, no. Sorry. I'm running Windows 10. Is that, that's the key here? Yes. All right. uh, I don't know, but one thing I did notice in the screenshot is the person that took it was running Windows 11. Got it, got it, got it. That makes sense. Um, but to yeah, your I point that you made earlier, uh, Edge is not the same as Chrome. <laughs> I've tried to, like, that was the pitch. It's faster, it's lighter weight, it's the same Chromium engine, except I've tried using it and none of my shit works, so it's not the same thing. <laughs> no, I think if you want a good Chromium run, like, if you want a good Chromium-based browser just use brave yeah that's i've been using brave for a long time and i'm a yeah. huge fan it runs well does everything i wanted to i can still leverage and use google's uh app uh extensions and 
It's not Firefox Same hogging video. up ninety percent of my RAM. Unfortunately, I am a huge fan of Firefox and what they're trying to do, but they just can't figure this shit out. And uh, that's a huge that's problem. The problems with that so with Chrome it's too. It's really though. sad. I've have been shocked at how much memory um, Chrome uses for. While tabs. I agree with you, if my computer that is a top of the line beast, and I mean top of the line, like the, this should this thing can run, you know, like whatever you throw at it, if it's stuttering and having issues because Firefox is open, something's wrong. Yeah, yeah. It just it can't. Yeah, it can't. And it's super unfortunate because I really fought myself to use Firefox for a long time. I was like, no, I don't want to use Chrome. I don't want to use Chrome. Um, but you know, you can only, you can only deal with that. It drives me crazy. It drove me crazy. So I had to switch, but I, I went back to brave and they're doing great. Um, so yeah, fuck edge. Uh, also same thing to, to Google. No, no need to use Chrome. Just use, just use brave. I, I'm a fan of brave too. Peter got put on, put me onto that. Uh, I've been very happy with it. I haven't used it myself, obviously, but um, <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, these guys, are, you know, I should really check out Brave. <laughs> oh, you know what I wanted to I mention? I only use it because Peter, you talked you about said it. This. I know. But, um, <laughs> it's a good thing. What I wanted to mention, Peter, you said, what else are they, what else are they looking at? What else are they, is Microsoft watching? Yeah. And you, you reminded me of, I'll like, I, I, you know, every other week or, or once a week, Sometimes more, sometimes less. I log into my pie hole and look at look at what's going on in my queries and what my all my various devices are doing. And without fail, there's telemetry calls telemetry various different windows yeah. from Microsoft hey, uh, um, or two speaking, Microsoft servers. Being speaking blocked. of pie hole, John, did you know that you can use Peter Lowe's ad blocking and tracking server block list with your pie hole? <gasps> yeah. You know, Mike, you're you're kind of funny because uh, it's like you're assuming that the first thing I didn't do when I learned <laughs> that Peter Lowe is that Peter Lowe that that Peter Lowe. yeah he's that Peter Lowe I, I said know. well guys hold on hold on you <laughs> me okay ad ad blocking my pie hole come doc okay your list my pie hole mm -hmm. doc mm -hmm. with me. And he did. Mm -hmm. He totally helped me set up the, the his <laughs> list. Um, not even kidding. Like that was one of the first things that that oh, me and Peter dude. did together was him helping <sighs> me put his list manually onto my onto my pie hole. Um, I felt uncomfortable. Ago. I felt uncomfortable talking about your pie hole and my list. <laughs> Talking. Oh yeah. The um, truth is, Peter's good, list should be in stuff. everyone's pie hole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really? Right. Without I, fail. Yep. Probably okay. can't overstate that. Right. So, great episode, guys. Thanks for watching.